All right, you guys, it's 1119. Want to give you a quick peek at what they've done in these few hours. You see how they're trying to get it all whited out. I mean, it looks like a sloppy job to me, but I guarantee you in the next hour or so, it'll be very white. Everything will look very solid white. I just want you to see. See, it's all overhead too, straight overhead. It'll be as white as that van. Skies will be perfectly white. You can see all the lines out there. And nobody's noticing it. This is what I was talking about, the strong delusions, you guys. Look right up there. This is what I'm talking about, the strong delusions. How, uh... People won't even, you know... They won't even be aware of it. They're not aware of it. You know, it's all around us, you guys. It's all around us. It's right there to be seen. And sadly, most people ain't seen it. This is the power of God. Giving strong delusions, making people believe the lies. And then how Satan, you know, because of the parable of the seeds, you know. I mean, if the church even just read that, you know. You guys, I don't want to be picking on the churches, but uh, the scripture's doing that. And I have to read what scripture says. You know, Jude 1, 4, or Jude 4, it says, certain men crept in unaware to pervert the grace of God. Now, where are they going to creep in unaware? You know, at the auto parts store, Burger King, Wendy's, Walmart, it's the churches. They're going to go in there where they could do the most damage, and that's what they've done. And, uh, you know, a form of godliness. It says they'll be using big words. And see, that's what they're doing. I've seen it. I've seen people that were coming from all over the country to go see one pastor in Knoxville. He's always using big words. And then breaking those words down so that you can understand what they were just talking about. And this is only once a week now. So, and he's not giving you the rest of the scriptures about the warnings. But he's giving you enough. But he's also doing exactly what scripture warns you about. You know. And he's also leading people into patriotism of the nation. Which we know what the nation is doing. I just showed you. Spraying a bunch of that. Okay, legalizing homosexual lifestyle, legalizing abortions. They're giving people what their heart's desires are. God says he knows what their hearts are, you know, what they want. And he's giving it to them. And that's why we're seeing what the evil is doing. And evil will destroy the wicked. It's all in scriptures. You know, to continue denying it is only deceiving yourself. You know, you're only deceiving yourself. You're not deceiving anybody else. Just yourself. So. Um, God help, you know. We got some new tracks to hand out. Well, we put them in a place where we go eat. But, uh. God's way to salvation. What if? See, we'll put these with the uh, those food carts. You know, quick food, but we'll put those with it so when the police hand them out, you know, and hopefully the police are even actually taking them out to meet them. Meet them too. But, uh, yeah, you see how they're whiting everything out, right? So don't be deceived, you guys. We see what's coming, and uh, 
we don't have to have a spirit of fear. Just thank the Lord that we're able to see these things where so many people can. You know, we're, this is where we're blessed, you guys. Uh, the Holy Spirit has opened our eyes to see these things. And then when we share them and other people can't receive them, it's because of what the parable says, you know. They, you know, the world has choked it out. You know, that's why if Satan's blinded them, it's because of how busy they are with everything, trying to, um, they're trying hard to, um, you know, go after what they're being given. Car just drove by in a Kia, and it said Soul, S-O-U-L. And I, I come behind cars that say Focus or Escape. You guys have all heard of those names, you know? I mean, God puts it in their minds to do these things for people to know, you know? These are the times we're in, man. No getting around it, no denying it. I just left uh, having breakfast over there. I guess Cynthia's still there, probably witnessing with people, talking with people. You know? <laughs> Every now and then you'll meet somebody that, that you know, they, they see, they see what's going on in their wake. But it's not many, it's rare actually. So anyhow, you guys be strong in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and uh, be bold, you know, and thank the Lord, praise Him, man, for showing us these things. These things are soon going to uh, be coming about. The waitress over there said her mother said she sees this van around a lot, you know. And then her daughter goes, well, they come in and have they pray breakfast over here on Saturday. Yeah, you know, so it's good. I'm glad to hear that, you know, when people say they see this van a lot. You know, it makes them start thinking. You know, and I was telling her, I said, look, a certain amount of people we're being shown what time it is. And I was telling her, you know, how the churches, they're not coming out, they're not speaking out, they're not, you know, knowing we're in these last days, end days. And she didn't even know that she'd been going to church. She's just a sophomore senior in school. But these people are being raised up. They go to church. They love the Lord. You can see this. But there's scriptures they don't know. When I was telling her about the rainbow on the flag, I said, God put it in their mind to put it there to let you know the covenant's broken. And that now it's reserved for fire. And she never heard of that. She goes, well, I never heard of that. And I said, well, yeah. And I said, that's why they're waving it in your face. And that's God letting you know time's up here. This is when you really want to be letting go of these things here because it's over here. It's over and most people don't know it. I think this is just going to go on and on. Scripture says all this. I said, get into your scriptures where, and look it up, all the uh, chapters and verses, where it warns you about these last days, about the deceivers. And you're going to hear, they, they're coming into the churches. And they started this a long time before you were born, before I was born. You know, I was born in 60. You know, how long was the ACLU around? And what did the ACLU do? And most of those people that began in ACLU are running the nation today. And they're the same people that came in and uh, used our freedom to bring us back into bondage. ACLU. Most people don't even think of these things. You know, this is spiritual what's going on. It's spiritual. These people that came in, they didn't have the love of God in them. If they did, they would have known it. They weren't God-fearing Christians. They were all about making money and destroying the liberty of this nation. How to take it down. You know, because at one time we were going out trying to spread the word. They didn't like that. So they came in here to destroy our foundation. The foundation what this was built upon. Anyhow, God bless everybody in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.